These two kettlebells are the exact same size, but one of them, hint, hint, is six times heavier than the other one. I'm gonna show you how we made it, and then we're gonna have a little fun. <laughs> Magic. A lot of you were offended that I called this a spatula in the last video. So anyways, I'm gonna put the spatula in here. Now I have to figure out how to get this that has no handle into there. You know what? I'm just gonna ladle it. No shame in ladling. Ooh, pretty colors. All thanks to me trusty spatula. That's hefty. Is it hefty? Yeah. <laughs> Did we just make an eight pound kettlebell of 50 pounds? Perhaps. <laughs> Into the valley of death rode the 600. Oh, yeah. This is only half. Oh, that is only half, isn't it? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> That's gonna be great. <laughs> In LBs, we have 23.6. Let's go to 10.71 grams. Goodness. No. 10.17 thousand grams. Uh, oops. All right, we got the second mold ready here. Our bismuth is warm. We shall now begin. Oh, there's water in that sand. Okay, tungsten time. Everybody's favorite time. Ladies and gentlemen, but 95% gentlemen, I have good news and I have bad news. I'll start with the bad news. The bad news is the world's heaviest baseball is falling apart. But the good news is we can salvage the tungsten inside it and put it into our weight. <sighs> Oh. oh, this side is a lot more broken up than the other one. Uh. No! Mmm, burnt baseball. Don't, Don't breathe, breathe this. this. That's what dripped down. That looks like a fun piece of art. Now, this is KO wool that I'm using to heat it up. And you're not supposed to do this because it burns and you breathe it and you get toxic fibers in your lungs, but I'm just gonna hold my breath. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and I think it's ready to go. Look at the neat crystal forests that form in business as it dries and you pour it out. All right, time to melt it.
Okay, I intentionally made this half a little thicker. Ugh, 27.8. Zooey oh mama. That was really hard to turn over. All right, Phil, I've got a bone to pick with you. You didn't tell me this takes 24 hours to cure. I don't got time for that. We need the hot box. Okay, so it's been about four hours in the hot box and it's looking a lot better, not all the way cured. Um, I'm not trying to wait another four hours for the next coat, so I'm going to use truck bed liner. Because if it's good enough for my truck, it's good enough for my weights. Uh, it says to shake vigorously. Uh, rubber smoke. Don't breathe. Tell you what, if anyone lives up to Phil Swift's legacy, it's the Blendtec guy. Will it blend? That is the question. Oh no, that looks like doo-doo. This is good painting technique. How many times did I stick you to my pants so you wouldn't peel off the undercoating? That looks like butt cheeks, like it was never there. Okay, we're ready for the ultimate weigh-in. Normal kettlebell, eight pounds, big Bertha. 51.5, that's bonkers. I didn't know if we'd make it above 50, but we are well over that. I'd call that an achievement. Look at that side by side. They're the same size. Only this one weighs, what, six times more? That's ridiculous. Mission accomplished. Hey, Scotty the hottie, can you move this for me? Um, okay. <laughs> Man, I can't wait for this day hike. <laughs> oh, 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 you got prank. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's been a long day. I gotta go poop. What is this? Oh, you got punked. I guess I'll just use the shower. Okay. <laughs> Make sure to waffle stomp. <laughs> I can't wait to play Fortnite. Oh, 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 oh you got pranked. Oh, oh man, can't wait to sit down. <laughs> oh, you just got pranked. You're on prank. <laughs> can't wait to go to sleep. Oh, you're getting pranked. <laughs>